This is the Cayenta Formation in Arizona. It's the hunting ground for the 6 meter long Dilophosaurus, one of the first theropods evolved to take down prey larger than itself. Of course, when prey like Sarasaurus are that large, they are not easy to take down. Especially when she has an egg to care for. She'll live to see another day. The early Jurassic is a time when dinosaurs are starting to diversify and become larger. Presently, there are still plenty of small critters scurrying around. Meet Scutellosaurus, the ancestor of the large armored dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus. She's so primitive, in fact, that you could almost mistake her for a carnivore. She is so named for the bony osteoderms adorning her body, all of which are covered by a layer of keratin. On her tail are more spiky projections that will evolve into the Thagomizer seen on a Stegosaurus tail. Being so primitive, she's evolved to feast on a more versatile variety of food. And she'll even fancy some dinosaur dung. Though it's not ideal, there's beneficial bacteria in the dung that helps to break down tough plant material that she usually eats. It's also a much easier way of obtaining extra fiber, protein, and carbohydrates. When you're a vulnerable species that's had an evolutionary arms race with your predators, it's important to obtain everything. Speaking of evolutionary arms race, her kind are prey items to Dilophosaurus. It's hard to think that her greatest nemesis evolved from animals that looked just like her. All dinosaurs began in the Triassic as small, nimble reptiles with very similar features, teeth, and five-fingered hands. By the Jurassic, older predator lineages had started to die out, so the dinosaurs could now diversify and grow to larger sizes. The Dilophosaurus has caught the scent of the dung. It was actually his own, and he suspected that it would lead him to a prey item. She can smell him as well. She has formidable defenses on her tail, but because he's camouflaged, she can't be sure where he'll be striking. She lets out a warning cry. Being one of the first few animals to evolve a siren, she's capable of much more vocalization than most other animals. Osteoderms are excellent shock absorbers, making it harder for the predator to bite down. 